Well, in magic, we talk about misdirection. This is a situation where we kind of don't know where things are anymore. If I say, where is the ball? You'll say it's inside the cup. If I say where it is now, you'll say it's inside the hand. If you say where it is now, you'll say it's inside the pocket. But the truth is, it was clearly just in the hand all along. We try it again. Is it inside the, the cup, inside the hand, or is it in the pocket? But in truth, it's actually still inside the cup. Now that's where that's called misdirection. But there is also something called relativity. Because when there is relativity, you realise the small and the big are in truth the same. And that's magic. <laughs> and that's the magic with gravity. <laughs> the idea of a search and the idea of an individual gaining something in the future is a delusion. Uh, what I would say, though, is that is the beginning of true learning, which is then a process of understanding the relative. In the same way a scientist understands, you know, gravity. In the same way understanding impermanence. When you realise there's no one here to actually experience impermanence is in itself a process of learning. Now the search from that process is a delusion because it's a self trying to get something. But at the same time, it's natural. Non-duality is the recognition of who you are, which is unknowable.